exactly how it went down. Uh, okay, Curry's averaging over 30 points, eight and a half assists in the first two games. Is the Finals MVP his to lose? At this well, he's point? definitely the front runner, but you know you can't count out KD. We know he's capable of doing some great things. I mean, he's had great games in this building. So, but Steph is the front runner. He set the tone for the series. He's showing his teammates that, like, look, I'm the leader. You guys follow my lead yes, so far. It's his to lose. So, okay, so, there you go. There's the answer. 100. <laughs> It's over. All they got to do is win at this point. It's over. So he's done enough in the oh, first two. Come on, KD man. come out here and go for 45 and they win. Yeah, Steph will probably have 38. I mean, <laughs> I mean okay. Hey, you know what's so Fair crazy? Thing. Last year, Steph averaged what? 28, 29, 9, 9, 9, 9. and 9. And we yeah. don't even talk about that. Numbers, what numbers like that don't get finals MVP? I know. Because of what Durant I did. actually thought that the year that Iggy won it, Steph should have won it. They double teamed every agree. play and he still had big numbers. I agree. So I think this they year. They said he slowed there's down no LeBron. No way he won't get it. He slowed down LeBron. You know, LeBron only averaged 35 and 14 that year. <laughs> so, well, but then, year, then the next year he yeah. averaged 40, 10, and 10. So. Exactly. Well, LeBron led the whole series in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. Yeah. So he probably should have won finals MVP, but it is steps to lose. And it's because of the matchup. When you look at the backcourt of the Cleveland Cavaliers, it's J.R. Smith and George Hill. They can't make them work. That's why Rodney Hill is going to get more minutes so the Cavs can play big and have LeBron James out there with a bunch of guys that can make stuff work on the defensive end. But he's been terrific. Let me ask all the questions. Does LeBron LeBron James have a chance to win Finals MVP if they lose the series? I ain't, well, I'm not with that. Because I think if you're, that, if, if you're that, that valuable, win it. I don't believe in that. But that, I mean, how realistic is Mary that West did. I don't believe in that. It's only happened Wait, once. hold up. If he's done everything that he's been doing so far, yeah. realistically with the team that he's currently had, okay, so you're just not going to get a great no debate. Shot. I'm not rolling with that. If you don't win it, you can't win MVP. I don't, I'm not rolling with that. Can we talk strategy a little bit? I, I want sure. some specifics out of your mouth on this sure. one. Last year, they did a lot of, of trapping off of Steph off pick and rolls. Yeah. Should they be trying to do more of that? I think you have to change up what you're, what you're doing. Obviously, it's, it's, it hadn't worked that great. Um, Steph has seen every defense imaginable out there. But it's tough to trap him when you have Clay and KD out there on the floor. Maybe one of those guys goes to the bench. Maybe you start to trap him. But you don't, it's not just a trap. Maybe you can hard show and get back. You want to influence that pass to Draymond Green or to Looney or to Iggy or anybody else. You want to influence that pass just to get it out of Steph's hand. So, bees, they definitely have to do something different. But trapping them with Clay and KD on the floor is not a smart thing. I think the only way you trap him is with Kevin Love because he's clearly taking advantage of that switch. You know, with everybody else, I would switch. When Kevin Love is in the pick and roll, you trap, get the ball out of his hands because he keeps taking advantage, whether it's three or getting to the hole or finding somebody, whatever Kevin Love is in the pick and roll. Well, well said, Paul. I agree. But if they don't switch and it's Kevin Love, he got to force him to the bucket and people got to be able to help. You understand that Kevin Love is a weaker defender out there. He's stuck on Steph Curry. Steph Curry's playing amazing. He hit nine threes. You can't allow Allow Steph Curry to have a flurry of threes like they did in the previous game. You got to force him to be a driver. Nine threes. <laughs> Shot 17. How about that? So George Hill had a look. He had a rough game one. It was a bad finish. He had 15 points though in game two, and he's viewing tonight as a quote great opportunity to work towards evening the series. I like how he came.